Hi everyone, Mike Farish here and welcome to episode two of Adventures with Mike. And things you need to know if you are considering moving to Salina. Today we're going to be talking about schools. I am at Salina High School right here. Boom, there we go. And uh, got all the information that you need to know if you are considering moving here, especially if you've got kids and what the schools are like. So hold on tight and uh, I'll tell you everything you need to know. All right, so you were thinking about moving to Salina, you've got kids, you wanna know about the schools and what to expect for them. Obviously that's a huge change for them, so you wanna make sure they're in the right place. Um, but before I kind of give you a tour around the schools um, and where they are, etc., uh, let me give you some stats. So Salina ISD has a 99% graduation rate, um, which is pretty phenomenal. Can't really get much better. It could go to 100%, but most people will take 99%. Uh, that is way, way, way above the average. Um, Salina High School uh, behind me is ranked number 379 in Texas out of over 8,500 schools. Um, the whole school district is A-rated on niche.com. Um, so niche.com is typically what real estate agents use. It's more governed. It tends to be more accurate. You can use websites like greatschools.com, um, but what you'll find on there is just reviews from kind of disgruntled parents. Um, so. I'd say great schools is kind of more like a forum um, for parents, whereas niche.com is kind of a more uh, level playing field, it tends to be more accurate. So Salina ISD currently has 3,000 students, that's all across, um, that's every single school. They expect that to grow to 6,000 by 2025 and then um, 12,000 by 2030. So as you can tell, the whole, uh, and as I keep mentioning, the whole city keeps growing. Uh, quite exponentially so the school district they will expand some of the schools and then they will go on to further develop more schools more high schools they're currently building a new middle school um, it's right over there that's why I pointed over there um, and then lastly so football is a huge thing here um, you town shuts down everyone goes and watch the Salina Bobcats on a Friday night um, and the facilities they've got here are absolutely phenomenal I'm gonna show them to you in a second um, but the School district itself is ranked number 79 out of 1,100 schools for student athletes and their development. So, um, great school district. It's one of the reasons my wife and I moved up here is because we wanted our um, our kids in Salina schools. The ratio, I think most teachers have taught for over, I think 92% of the teachers have taught for three years or more. All right, so you'll actually see I'm actually back in my office and that's because I realized I totally forgot to mention the elementary schools. So there's two elementary schools in Salina. There is uh, the Marcia Likens Elementary School, which is on the um, southwest corner of downtown Salina. And then there is also um, Odell Elementary, which is the newer elementary school, which is situated in between uh, the subdivisions of Carter Ranch and Bluewood. So you've got Bluewood, Carter Ranch, and then um, Odell Elementary sits right in between them. So they're both great schools. Um, great resources and fantastic teachers as well. And my apologies, I forgot to mention it while I was out videoing. So right behind me is Salina Middle School and this actually used to be the original high school. Um, they are building a brand new middle school um, just a little bit further north here, just get preparing for all this growth that's coming up. Um, and if I pan over, we have the junior high school right next to me, or right next to it, I should say. And then right behind here is the Salina Primary School, which is where you go to kindergarten, which is actually currently where my son's at. Um, these three schools are situated right outside downtown. Uh, great location if you've got kids who are, um, you know, not too far apart in age. Um, it's really great because they're all right next to each other. You can go pick them up. So, um, so that's it. We're going to go on to the high school now and uh, show you a little bit of that. I'm actually stood up on top of the hill at Salina High School. It's actually the highest point in Salina. You get a beautiful sunset from here, but in the distance you'll see that kind of purple building. That is the new middle school that is currently under construction. It should be completed by, uh, I believe, the summer of next year. Um, so, you can kind of see what a beautiful view you get from the high school. So 
So right behind me is the Junior Varsity Stadium, and as the name suggests, this is where Junior Varsity plays their football games. Um, this was actually the original high school stadium, so it holds about 3,000 people. They have since moved about three years ago up to a new high school stadium, uh, which holds about 8,000 people and brand new facilities, um, which I'm excited to show you in just a few seconds. Uh, but this is situated just outside of downtown, and it's just kind of an iconic little piece of Salina. So right here we have the new Bobcat Ballpark. That's kind of uh, weird to say the accent, Bobcat Ballpark. And um, these were only completed last year. And these are state-of-the-art baseball fields and uh, softball fields um, for the, uh, the varsity team play, to play on. Um, and again, just uh, great facilities being built here. This is the Salina Bobcats Athletic Complex, and it is state-of-the-art uh, facilities. Uh, what they have in here is honestly better than some um, colleges um, to kind of develop the athletes, and uh, we're going to go inside and take a look. So this is only about two or three years old, and uh, what's good is they built uh, this brand new indoor uh, football field so obviously that's great for kind of when it's far too hot outside or kind of like today when the weather's a little bit too cold uh, kids can come in here they can train they can run through all the plays uh, you'll see the nets on the top as well they can also drop down and they can practice baseball in here too so this door here is the athletic trainer and they have state-of-the-art recovery um, for any injured players um, we're not going to go in there because there are kids in there right now but um, again state of the art facilities for um, athletes who may be injured uh, or need to recover right here we've got the trophy wall and uh, you can see they've done pretty well over the, um, the time here so uh, district champions and state champions multiple 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 times um, so great great football school So I actually just saw the athletic director and head coach, Bill Elliott. Um, he's a good friend, family friend of ours, a great guy. And one thing that's really cool about the, especially the football program, and just all the sports in general, is it's not so much about the winning, um, although I will tell you that it is a big, big part. They do not take losing lightly. Um, neither do the residents of Salina. Um, but it is more about growing good, solid student athletes with good morals, um, and respectful students. Uh, that is one of the biggest things they teach. And again, that's another reason why we wanted our kids in Salina schools, because they have great morals and want to develop good, good people. Um, <laughs> there's no easy way to say it. They just want to make um, students good people. I'm going to turn the video off because uh, it's about to pour down with rain. I'm about to get soaking wet. <laughs> All right. Yes, I did just run up all the football steps in uh, football steps, stadium steps to get to the top. And yes, I am out of breath. I need to go to the gym that they have here. Um, but this is a great view. Uh, you can actually see three or four of the cities. So you can see uh, Anna, Melissa, Van Olsen and Sherman in the distance. And um, this, kind of like I said, it's true Friday night lights. Um, the town shuts down. This stadium, which I think holds between eight to 12,000, only built about three years ago, it will be packed. Um, and even if you just come to Salina to visit, uh, make sure you come and catch Salina Bobcats game because it really is a um, it really is a unique experience. And I've heard that from multiple people who have moved here from out of state. And this was one of the best things to come see. So make sure you do come check it out. All right, so that was all about Salina ISD and I'm getting poured on with rain. So if you have any questions whatsoever, um, all my information will be on the closing slide. Uh, this is episode two. Um, episode three will kind of tell you a little bit more about the growth and some new construction neighborhoods. Uh, with that being said, I have done some uh, new construction neighborhoods in the Salina Prosper area before. Make sure you do check out my other videos. Um, and until the next time, um, stay safe as I almost slip down the stairs. Um, stay dry and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye bye.